Hey guys, this is Rich from Project F30. Um, I wanted to do a quick video about how to update your firmware on the JB4 app. Terry at Burger Motorsports does a great job at making sure that we have access to the latest functions and he's also bringing out new features and new things and he will post the firmware updates on n54tech.com for free. So what that helps us do is it helps with bug fixes, it helps us to ensure that we're getting cool new features that we didn't originally have with the JB4, and it's certainly one of the best things on the market, one of the best tunes on the market for that reason and for that support. So I wanted to quickly just go over how you would update that firmware to get the latest version of the um, firmware for the JB4. I have the N20 slash N26 engine, and of course my firmware is in a different spot than everybody else's, but I'll show you what I mean in a second. First, you will go into the JB4 app. Here I have mine pulled up, and then you go into settings, and then when you scroll down your settings, you will go into firmware, says tap to modify. This brings you to the forums. So for me, there's the N20 mini, this thing right here. You'll be able to select it, and that's where you would find your firmware, firmware under the sticky, and you'll download the hex from there. If you have an N54 or N55 motor, of course, there they have those um, forums as well. But I'm going to click right here on the N20. And N26 is the same. And then where I would go is that the F-Series N24 Banger JV4, right? So this sticky was placed here specifically for Terry. If you read here, this sticky is for any updates with the interface. It shows you E85 use, the map guide, the firmware itself, and tells you what the latest firmware does. EW, EWG6 does all of these things right here. And then you go a little bit further into the notes, so things to be aware of. And then after you scroll past the menus and such, you can select the right hex for you. The latest one is the EW, EWG6T5. So I'm going to download it, click on that link. As you can see by my screen, it's downloading. It says new firmware updated. Here's the new firmware. So upload the firmware, select it, then select flash, then select update. So I'm going to hit OK. I, d I downloaded two of them because I've already got this update, but I wanted to show you guys. Then you're going to click on the one that you're looking for, and it says, what would you like to do with this firmware file? And it will say delete or flash. Now here's what I'll say. Make sure that the car is in accessory mode with the seat belt on so that it won't shut off. But more importantly, do not flash your car while it's running because you're going to throw errors, throw codes, and it can, it can damage something. So you don't want to flash with the engine running. So I'm going to select flash. And then now we wait. Select update to upload the lights, dash lights and the ignition should be off. Excuse me. The dash lights should be on, but the engine off. And sometimes you need to hook, hook up to some sort of power, um, whether it be a battery tender or a, um, or one of those jump start boxes. Um, this is just to make sure that you, your battery doesn't die during the upload process because then you're really screwed. So. The upload process fails, the JB4 will be without firmware, so you do not attempt to operate the vehicle until you've completed it. Yes, update. And now it's going to check the firmware. It's going to upload the new hex, and then you've got, you see where it says writing block. And now we wait. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
Now you see it says verify checksum. So it's just making sure that everything is good and correct. And now it reboots the JB4. And here your update is complete. Well, that's it, guys. You can back out of that after you see update complete. And if you're ready to start the car and get about your day. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is Rich with Project F30. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks.